What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. So I'm excited about this review because this supposedly is the smallest projector that I have reviewed, I think. It is smaller than a soda can. So first let's get started with the unboxing. We're gonna review the specs and do all kinds of tests to see how the video and audio and the features of this projector is and if it's worth the money, which with the coupons is less than 200 bucks. By the way, my name is Sean. This is my tech channel where I do unboxing reviews and tutorials of different tech products. So if you think you like content like this, you may wanna subscribe and when you hit the bell notification, make sure to change that to all so you won't miss my future videos. So we have a very high quality quick start guide to begin with this is the full owner's manual full color look at this this thing is small i mean you see the pictures on amazon when the guy's like holding it but this is nuts first impression this has a matte finish which i really like because it gives it that little bit of a premium look and feel i love this accent color Look at that. It comes with its own tripod. It comes with an HDMI cable remote, obviously. There it is. So it is a standard charger. It's not USB. Do not lose this charger. On this side, we have the power button. I believe this might be a reset button and we have an output auxiliary port. The front, we have the lens. This is either a keystone adjustment or focus HDMI port. This is your IR port, charging and USB. So why is this so special? This obviously starting with the size, it's 4.17 inches by 2.83. It weighs less than a pound, it's 0.86 pounds. It comes with a tripod, obviously, as you can see. As far as the connectivity, besides what you see in the back, it offers Wi-Fi 6 connectivity, basically 5G and 2.4G. It supports up to 1080p footage. That means native, it's not 1080p. It can officially project up to 114 inches. However, recommended uh, size is between 10 and 100 inches. You can be less than two feet away from the screen and you can successfully still project. We talked about the mirroring option. We're gonna check that out. This has built-in one gigabyte of internal storage so you can put your footage in and on top of it the battery is rechargeable it has a 7000 milliamp rechargeable battery on one full charge you supposedly get two and a half hours typically that's not on maximum brightness the keystone adjustment i believe it's auto keystone adjustments up to 40 percent so that means when you have your tripod if let's say you have to tilt it up to project it higher to a certain screen, it would auto adjust it for you. And finally, one thing about projectors that people often complain about is the fan noise. So when it's trying to keep the lens and internal components cool down, the fan kicks in and it's typically very loud. This supposedly has a fan noise of only 32 dB, and that's actually pretty low when it comes to fan noises from projectors. By the way, if you don't want to have it on a tripod, uh, it has these rubberized feet. It has four of them. By the way, the only port I see that I think it could be for the speaker is in the front, and I see some down below. So if you are, let's say, sitting down, and you're projecting to the screen, the audio is actually projecting back towards you. Oh, and if you don't want to use the remote control, which is pretty standard with uh, most of these projectors, you actually have these, uh, looks like touch sensitive buttons at the top. So right now it is daytime. I do have my blinds closed, but it is definitely not a dark room. And I do have a couple of my studio lights on to try to get a sense for what does it look like during the normal part of the day if you have your room somewhat dark. Two things I want to mention right away that I noticed. The auto keystone adjustment, it is working just fine. So as I tilt this, I'm gonna give you an exaggerated example. You can see the sides will change slightly to trying to correct the sides and give you a perfect rectangle shape. However, it does not have autofocus and the dial on the side, you would actually adjust 
the focus with that. There are three things in particular I'm interested in that I want to test. One is the video quality, another is audio quality, and then what is the process for uh, screencast or mirroring from an iPhone. I'm going to check out the menu real quick. So projector mode, you can do it front, rear, ceiling projection, so normal stuff. Keystone adjustment, so obviously you have auto keystone adjustment, but you can manually change it here. Uh, picture mode, brightness, let's see. So this is normal mode. I suspect the two and a half hour uh, that they rate it for the battery life is probably on the normal mode. Let's connect this to the Wi-Fi real quick. So once you have both your phone and your projector connected to the same Wi-Fi, then you will be able to find the projector just like any other Apple TV when you go do screen mirroring. second half of this video I actually unplugged the power to see if the brightness will drop and it does not so that's good that at least you have that option even though you should know that's probably going to drain the battery faster <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time stood Rosas, the most magical kingdom, founded by a king with the power to... So, what do you need to know about this projector? Here's my final conclusion. If you're looking to get this for any kind of presentation, such as PowerPoint, anything that has fonts in it, this probably is not the right solution for you. Typically for those, you need something with much higher resolution so that way your fonts can be crisp. However, with that out of the way, if you just need this for your everyday entertainment, for you watching movies, for your kids to watch cartoons in their bedroom with this tiny little thing that can project it on the wall, on the ceiling or whatever, for this price, for this size, the portability that it offers with the built-in battery and the brightness you will get, I absolutely do recommend this. That I think as of right now, this thing is about 180 or 90 bucks. It, it is a very complete package, no doubt about it, and I do recommend this. Outside of that, the design, I absolutely like. It's very premium. It does not feel cheap at all. I love the fact that they have included the tripod, the auto keystone adjustment. It's definitely a plus. The brightness is a plus for me. Let's talk about the video quality. The video quality is definitely fine. Again, considering the price, you need to understand this is not a full HD 1080p uh, projector. However, it supports that. So let's say if you are playing something from YouTube and you put it on full HD at 1080p, it will simply play that and it will play just fine. But if you put it right next to a projector that has a native 1080p, you will notice it. The video quality, like I said, the brightness, I was surprised with this tiny little thing and how bright it was. I shot this review middle of the day. I did try to close my blinds and turn off my, my lights in my studio and you saw the quality. And at some point I turned this one light back here on to see if I could still see the screen or not. And honestly, I was surprised how good it was. The audio quality. I have yet to come across a projector that the audio is so crisp and it, it doesn't rattle uh, or sounds like a tin can or something when it's at full blast volume after several projectors that I've reviewed. The quality is not bad. It doesn't get distorted, but you just need to realize this is not a Bluetooth speaker for you to expect to get a sound quality out of uh, even a budget Bluetooth speaker like this. And that is a good transition to this segment. You can simply buy any Bluetooth speaker, something even like this. You can get one of these for like 50 bucks or so. Uh, and they all typically do come with an auxiliary cable included. And this has a very convenient port in the back. You don't have to change anything in the setting. Sorry, on the side. Audio personally has never been a concern for me or a deal, deal breaker when it comes to a projector. When it comes to streaming, you can stream directly from your phone using a cable. The reason I did not use that, I have 
the new iPhone 15 Pro Max and I don't have the lightning cable to be able to use my lightning to HDMI adapter. So I was not able to check that, but I suspect there is no latency for that. So you would need something to get to an HDMI cable. So if you have an iPhone 14 or older, you need a lightning to HDMI adapter and then use any HDMI cable, which they include one in this packet. It does not offer autofocus, but honestly, it is very hard to find a projector that offers autofocus at this price point. And I was even surprised that it offered auto uh, keystone adjustment at this price point. What are the things I did not like about this? Yes, no product is perfect. So there are really two things that comes to mind. And I'm not even going to mention the audio because that is exactly what's expected from most projectors, especially small projectors. So audio is not a concern for me. I really want to have a carrying case. I'm a sucker for a carrying case, even if it's a cheap $5 carrying case, $10 carrying case. If it's a portable projector, include a carrying case. Uh, the second thing is when I was streaming from my phone, which was very easy to set up, all I had to do connect uh, the projector and my phone to the same Wi-Fi, and then I was able to just use AirPlay function and just stream. During that stream, there were a couple points that the audio will get uh, disconnected. So it looks like it was not buffering correctly. Now, part of that could be because of my Wi-Fi. I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna be able to test see if it was the product or my Wi-Fi, but I did want to mention that I had that experience. There is a really good chance this is gonna make it to my holiday gift guide for this holiday season. Hopefully this was helpful. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to give this video a like. That's the biggest help you can give me. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.